Okay, um, welcome to uh, a tutorial on the um, uh, CCMP T shoot uh, preparation exam. Uh, this is an, uh, a sample trouble ticketing for scenarios, uh, four trouble tickets uh, for a, uh, a scenario that given here. Uh, this is uh, an a URL that you can access in Cisco website, uh, free to access show you a sample or give you a capability to practice in anticipation of what kind of a, you know what type of exam question that I'm going to get in the t-shoot uh, as I indicated in my other uh, lectures uh, or tutorials that uh, CCMP exams are very much have changed and especially the t-shoot uh, so Cisco have taken initiative to demonstrate to the students how that would be you know different than the exam that you have taken before so these four trouble ticket to give you an example uh, for you to understand and prepare for yourself uh, for the t-shirt exam. So here, um, uh, on basic instructions, uh, I think you can read yourself. I'm going to give you the URL. Uh, let me get into a scenario uh, that we need to resolve. Okay. So first thing, when you read the scenario, try to take a note. Uh, like I'm going to take my notes. Um, so the company name, you know, uh, the network is tissue.com. Uh, they have a layer two and layer three topology uh, or environment. Uh, they have routers. Uh, there are four routers, uh, one layer three switch and uh, one layer two switch. Uh, so the layer three topology are uh, routers with named R1, R2, R3, R4. And there is a DSW1 uh, running EHRP with AS number 16. And R1 has a static route uh, accessing devices outside the T-shoot network. So it's almost like you have a, a private network that combined, that constitute of R1, R2, R3, R4, and switches in a DSW1 and another switch that not named here yet. Uh, and you have an external uh, connectivity to uh, an external gateway um, and with a static routing, okay? Uh, and the, the concept here is, it seems the uh, in the test bed network, they are you know doing proof of concept, they're making a lot of changes. Uh, so uh, at the end of the day, when you know they when they did all these changes, you know, and they end up uh, the network has you know is broken or uh, there are fault conditions. Uh, so uh, let's look at the uh, scenario now. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, we have seen the scenario. Let's look at the layer two topology. Uh, so this is a pretty good uh, layer two topology. Uh, so let me explain this layer two topology here. Uh, so we have, as I indicated, you have R1, R2, R3, R4 uh, connected in um, a partially meshed connectivity. Uh, you can see from that, you know, uh, the look of the cloud and how the connectivity is there. And R1 connected to an external cloud, which is the uh, BGP uh, at AS number 65002. Uh, there is R5 and a server. Uh, in instruction, you will read that you know you, you can really can't access the R5. That is external to you. Uh, the focus actually here is R1, R2, R3, R4, and the switches. And if you go roll down, you can see DSW1 and ASW1. So the DSW1 is the layer three switch. Uh, the ASW1 is the access switch that has two clients, client one and client two. So access switch is connected to a DSW indicating there's a distribution switch uh, where the VLAN terminates. So the VLAN is VLAN 10 with network 172.16.2.x uh, where the clients are 2.3 and 2.4. Uh, the port numbers are given. There is a trunk port uh, at uh, fast ethernet uh, 1019 uh, that connecting DS DSW 1 and, two, uh, one and, and ASW 1. Uh, and there is a, a routed interface, a layer 3 interface that connecting into uh, router R4. Um, and it uh, looks like, you know, at least here we know we are not sure whether there's a frame relay, but somehow some form of layer 2 connectivity in a partial mesh that connect all these four routers. So that's the, you know, from in the topology view, this is what you can understand. Um, so at least you know you know the key thing is in the DSW one we have a VLAN 10 there is a network 16.2 172.16.2, and there is a router network which is 172.16.1.x, and this is subnetted it's with a slash 30 
there are many of you know uh, in you know in that category of slash 30 using the network 170.16 one dot space uh, across the wide area uh, link okay the external networks are you know totally a different address space which is a 209 uh, uh, IP address space so let me minimize this and go into a layer 3 topology uh, uh, let me uh, maximize it so the key thing is you know you got to spend some time understanding this topology that presented to you so the concept is external cloud is that the uh, as a web server 209.65.200.241 slash 29 uh, address space uh, in the similar address space uh, with a slash 30 they have a connect van connectivity to the cloud static routing that connecting you know the uh, tissue.com with the external cloud uh, R1, R2, R3, R4 connected serially. Uh, here they're showing point to point because you know the layer two already been done. Uh, most probably they might be using point to point. I, I doubt point point to point because there is a cloud uh, partial mesh. I believe this could be frame. Um, and the autonomous system for EHRP is 16. And DLSW DSW1 terminates the layer three, and uh, VLAN 10 on you know takes over from then onwards. So this is the layer two mini, I'm sorry, layer three. So now let's open the uh, trouble ticket number one and see what is the issue that we need to resolve. Uh, the implementation group has been using testbed to do a proof of concept that require both client one and two access the web server uh, at what? 209.65.200.241. So that is your web server address. Take a note of that. I've seen, and we have noted that in the uh, topology earlier. After several changes to the interface status, network addressing routing scheme. So they have made a changes into the interface status. Okay, and they've changes to the network addressing, network addressing, and they are there. There's a routing scheme. You know, uh, could have been changed, and layer two connectivity, layer two connectivity. Uh, the triple triple ticket has been opened, indicating that client one cannot ping client or server so the client one so focus not client two uh, client one cannot access the web server okay web server is 209 65 200 241 so that is the issue and uh, use ios command to isolate the cause of this fault and answer the following questions one which of the device fault condition located okay you don't know yet so we need to look at the topology right now uh, so all the you know uh, six devices been given as one of the answers and in fact, if you roll down, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, of course, you must select the an answer. Let's say I select an answer. I go to the next question. The next question is asked, full condition related to which technology? Okay, let me pick an answer and go to the next question. And then I ask you, how do you resolve the fall and what would be the solution for that? So you're done, you're gone. Then because you, you we never really analyze our problem yet. We not even haven't defined the problem yet. Okay, so I need to abort this. So at least I know that 